This morning, our Sunrise Spotlight is shining out in Hillsboro, where baseball season is well underway at this point. Yeah, our Drew Carney is live out there for us from the home of the hops, dressed up, ready to play ball. Hey, Drew, right behind that baseball. <laughs> hey there, Christine. Hey there, China. Uh, would you like to see my very best pitch this morning, gang? Let's do would it. Like to see it. it. All right, here it comes. I call it the disappearing ball pitch. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. That was supposed to fly out the back of my hand, and it actually hit Eric in the head. Can I see that ball, please? That just actually went past the cat. That hit you in the head. Why are you smiling? Oh, my God. <laughs> You're supposed to be mad at me. Oh, my God. And I actually, it, it knocked off part of his camera. <gasps> Did you I Okay, so this morning is off. This morning is off to a sensational start, as you can see. Everything going oh according gosh. to plan. Sorry about that, Eric. You're still my favorite sunrise photographer, I promise you, even though I just hit you in the head with a baseball. My goodness, you ever see that before, Kale? First time. We've done a lot of live segments We've out here. We've done a Have lot of live segments. Have we ever hit the photographer in the head with a baseball we, to get going? We've never thrown a baseball at the photographer, let alone hit him. I'm going to put that down. <laughs> it's probably safer. Kale Wambacher is the longtime president and general manager of the Hillsborough Hops. You kicked off the season two weeks ago right here at home, hit the road for a few games, but now you're back. They have games tonight, tomorrow night, Saturday night, and Sunday afternoon. So a four game stretch here in Hillsboro. Tonight is a special night. First time you've ever done tacos and tequila night. Yeah. Uh, can you explain real quickly how that's gonna work? Yeah, well, first of all, I love tacos and tequila, so this is mainly for me. But uh, yeah, $27, you get uh, tacos and tequila sampling tonight and your game ticket. So it's a great deal. Uh, I think we've got about six or seven taco vendors here, so you can try some different tacos, tons of different tequilas. It's gonna be a fun night. This is one of my favorite segments to do every year because it's an easy sell for me, if you will. <laughs> uh, I love telling people to come out here and check out the hops. There is no better summer night in this area, in my opinion, than coming out here to watch a game on a beautiful summer night. I know it's not summer yet, uh, but we're going to have some great weather over the next few days. So again, great opportunities to come out over the next few days to check out baseball. You've probably noticed Drew Carney not in the Sunrise studio lineup this morning. Instead, he is out and about talking baseball in Hillsboro. I think he's pretty happy out there. I think so. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> uh, the Hobbs are back at home this week, <laughs> continuing the early part of their season schedule with a series against the Tri-City Dust Devils. And then, Drew, we're excited yes. because tonight is uh, tacos <laughs> and tequila at the ballpark. It is, guys. It is. So a special night here at the ballpark. But of course, you can enjoy some of the other food that they have every game here for the Hillsboro Hops season long endeavor. Uh, we are talking about a lot here, including the fact that tonight is tacos and tequila night, the first time they've ever done that promotion. So if you purchase a special $27 ticket tonight, you not only get the ballpark experience and all the great baseball, you also have the chance to sample tacos and tequila from some fantastic local vendors. So a special night out here at the ballpark as the hops take on those Tri-City Dust Devils, a great baseball name. <laughs> uh, AJ, we want to bring you into the mix. AJ Gajalnik is the general manager of food and beverage out here at Hillsboro Ballpark. Uh, you've brought us a selection of food from your menu and some beverages from your menu. Uh, let's go with the beverages for starters. We don't have time to talk about all of them, but how about a couple? Yeah, so we have our Breakside Walk-Off IPA, specially formulated for the hops. I would say it's your game day IPA. It's okay. getting the sun nice and light. Uh, and then we also have our Portland Cider Squeeze Plates, margarita-inspired cider, cider. So for the cider lovers out there, it's a good option. So when I come out to the game, I like to wash down my beverages with mm -hmm. some food. Mm -hmm. For sure. <laughs> that's, so that's the idea, right? Let's dive in. Uh, we'll talk about all of these things, but I want to start with this sandwich. I'm going to take a big old bite. I don't even know what this is, but I'm going for it. I'll let you explain. Yeah, so that's our Nashville chicken sandwich. That's my personal favorite. It's got a little kick to it, and mm. there's some really good uh, house-made pickles on there that balance it out. We also have some slaw and some hot sauce, and we have some Sidewinder fries on the side there. It's a home run, AJ. High five on the sandwich. Let's go. I'm diving in for bite number two. Awesome. Can you tell me about the salad and the pizza, please? Yeah, so we have a little bit of a healthier option here. This is our Mediterranean quinoa bowl. Uh, it has chickpeas, pickled red onions, kalamata olives, banana peppers, all the fresh stuff with our house-made tzatziki on top for the healthier option at the ballpark. Yep. And then as also, we have our wood-fired pizza oven that's just down the concourse there. Uh, we mix a we do different pizzas every homestand. So this one's going to be our prosciutto pear arugula here. Uh, but tonight we'll be featuring a taco pizza for taco and tequila night. So that's where you can find it. The gang back there is very excited about this tacos and tequila business. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm very excited. This is a fantastic sandwich. I'm and glad, the pickles that you, you mentioned are delicious. Yeah, they make it. 
Uh, just to get back to the baseball for a minute. Yeah. If you're not familiar with the Hillsboro Hops, they are an affiliate of the Arizona Diamondbacks. So some of the players you would see tonight when you come out to the ballpark could very well be playing for that major league club maybe a few weeks, a few months, maybe a couple of years down the road. So here's the deal. Back me up on this, AJ. Let's hear it. I hope my facts are correct this morning. <laughs> Last year, the Diamondbacks made it all the way to the World Series. Mm -hmm. On that World Series roster, there were 10 Diamondback players that at one point in time played for the Hillsboro Hops. Do I have my facts straight? They sound correct. Drew Carney, not in our Sunrise studio this morning. Instead, he's out and about talking baseball in Hillsboro. But what you can't see is Rod Hill dancing to that music, which is which it's good stuff. It's good stuff to see. <laughs> but hey, the Hobbs are back home this week, continuing the early part of the season schedule with a series against the Tri-City Dust Devils. I don't know what Drew's doing, but he is out there for tacos and tequila night at the bar park. What <laughs> are we doing, Drew? I I'm just communicating with my friend mm. Barley over there at second base this morning. Okay. Uh, yes, we are talking hops baseball on this Thursday morning. Thumbs up, Barley. Two thumbs up, as a matter of fact. Yes, that's my man. This is also my man. This is K.L. Wambacher. He is the president and general manager of the Hops. He's been in that position since the Hops first landed here in Hillsboro back in 2013. Last year was a big 10-year anniversary celebration out here. Season number 11 underway at this point. Uh, you've got the game tonight against the Tri-City Dust Devils. Uh, real quickly, if I remember this correctly, it's tacos and tequila night. It so sure with is. a $27 ticket, you get the experience here at the ballpark with the game, of course. And on top of that, you get what, KL? You get tacos and tequila sampling. Samplings of both. Deal. You got vendors from outside coming in to yep. help out with the tacos and the yep. tequila. Okay, yep. so a special night at the ballpark. Uh, but it really has been special to have this baseball team and this organization in Hillsboro for the last decade plus now because you guys have ingrained yourself in the community. Uh, there's another example of that happening tonight. I'll let you explain. Yeah, um, tonight we have a check presentation, 100, 000, over $100,000 that's going to the Youth Baseball, Youth Softball organizations. We had 64 grant applications. We awarded every single one. Second year in a row, we've crossed that $100,000 mark going in back into the community, 1.3 million since we moved here. So you will be building that new ballpark park across the parking lot and that is going to open up for the 2025 2026 season, 2026 season. Yep. season. Yep. Uh, but this isn't going away and nope. I, I think it's cool that youth teams and high school teams actually get to play on this field yeah even now that's one of the best parts of the project is building a new ballpark it frees this up for community use year-round so high school teams youth teams they'll get to use this a lot more you can check out the hops tonight, tacos and tequila night they're also playing Friday night Saturday night and Sunday afternoon before they head back out on the road and now we head into a challenge it's this morning. Time. You ready for this? Race time. You're going to be the on your marks, get set, go guy, Kale, okay, if you I don't can, mind. I can do that. Uh, Brittany Smith, enter the picture here, please. Brittany is one of our Sunrise producers. Uh, Brittany is how old? 27. You know how old I am? 55,000. No, come on now. <laughs> I'll be 50 in a couple of weeks, okay? It's age versus beauty, if you will. Uh, youth versus wisdom? Will you give me wisdom at least? Oh, oh my goodness gracious. All right. Brittany, yesterday in the newsroom said I could beat you in a foot race around the bases. I said, no way, Jose. So here we go. We're going to both start. Cleats, by the way. I, have I don't these. have cleats. I, I have, have these. Just so we I have turf shoes. I have turf shoes. <laughs> They're both going to start on home plate. KO is suggesting we start on a bag where we're going to go the full distance. Yeah, okay. We're both starting okay. at home. We're both going to end at home. We'll go opposite directions. You have to slap high five to Barley so I know you're not cheating across the infield. Okay? Yeah. And, and KL will say on your marks, get set, go. Okay, ready. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, oh, oh coming out of the gate slow. Oh, it's a long ways. Oh. High five. High five. Oh, gosh. It's, oh, it's going to be close. Oh, she's centered. So dig, dig, dig. Oh, my goodness. Brittany, oh, no, I'm going to beat you. Age, yes. No. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> You know what? Lightheaded. Dang. Lightheaded. <laughs> hey, no, over here. You come over here and pay your respects, young woman. <laughs> <laughs> and you help this old man up. You help this old man off the ground. What happened? <laughs> what is there controversy? Yeah. What is it? That I beat you by that much? <laughs> yeah. I'm tired. I'm hurting. Okay, we're done because we basically can't speak anymore. Good race. <laughs>